things because of this Obishi body. And you can see the finish is set in. It's not really set in. It's a pitch escape finish. Uh, and some of the pores in the uh, Obishi is not fully uh, covered because I read somewhere the pitch said that he doesn't cover everything. He wants it to have some uh, room to breathe or to vibrate. And really, this bass. I don't know if you can hear that. It rings very well, even unplugged. Okay? So... Ah, I can do some more. And uh, you can see the cavity cover here. Have a show. Yeah, you can see the show logo on it. In what is interesting here is that Pete uses uh, Allen key screws on the cavity cover. So, uh, you only carry two Allen keys for this piece. One is for the truss rod, and one is to adjust the uh, height plus the, you want to open the cavity cover. But the battery is here anyway, so you don't have to open it. Okay? And, uh, but you still need a Phillips screw to adjust the intonation, of course, at the bridge. Okay, so let's hear the sounds. This is passive, uh, pick up pan in the middle, uh, tone uh, full, the, the passive tone is on full. Frequency from the bottom now. Okay, let me slide it flat. When you boost it, 
what happens is that it will boost the frequency that you select. So it's like a mid boost. This is flat. Thank you.